Hello, this is Ekushan from Twitter. I'm going to show you another uh, hidden feature that was recently introduced uh, that is um, overclocking the PS3. Um, I'm going to show it on uh, DECR1000. Uh, to do it on uh, another console like PS3 retail, you need uh, physical access to the to the to the console to, to the console words. So this this won't require physical access. This just requires a few scripts and a few installations to get it all running. So the first thing that you need is this script by Jivinsky to root the, the communication processor. Uh, then you need uh, a, a file, a file, uh, of a FTP server like FileZilla. You can see it here. I have it like here. I'm going to pin it here. Uh, then you need uh, something like um, um, com zero com which is uh, something to uh, redirect uh, the CP uh, communications to the, to, the, to the PC. And you also need a hub for COM, which is uh, what, you, what you will launch uh, to make the scripts that uh, uh, certain net will, will send the, the, the COM port uh, to here, which will redirect, and then you can use hub for COM. And you, you will, you will in turn can can use uh, the script that is found on the wiki, uh, which uh, is the, the 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 quick and easy script to uh, to interact with uh, with the words and uh, launch authenticated commands and uh, do some fun stuff. So, to do this, uh, well, we first have the normal speed of the deck, which is, well, this is 3.2 GHz. And we have Overclocking speed of the deck, which is 4.8 gigahertz. So this was found recently. Uh, you you can see that uh, 4.8 gigahertz is 600 megahertz times eight, and this was the old speed set which was really old, old systems that used to run at this speed. The normal speed is the same as 400 megahertz times eight, which is the regular speed of Britain's. So, to do this, we need to write some values to EPROM. Uh, these are the values. Right now we have like this. Uh, as you can see from the dump I took before writing, it should be somewhere around here. Let me see if I can find it. Um, search for AT. 16 you should find it so here it is it should be this yeah the 68 84 16 and all FFs and three and 30 17 so these nine FFs okay so this is correct 
So, let's do this. First, we open up a command line. We go to the bash. And we type python2 rootcp.py and we choose the address of the devlan IP of the decor. To me it's 192.168.1.14 and it's rooting. Root succeeded. After that you need to install this which is com to com. Uh, I already installed the 64 version. This is this is for Windows 7, but it works on Windows 11, which is what I am at now. Then you're going to launch the Sutub command prompt, which is Sutub PC. You have a command, and then uh, you're in the commands. You're going to do this, install, port name, com19, mubr, yes, port name equals com20. I already did this, you don't need to do it again. I don't need to do it again, you will probably need. Uh, after this, you launch the FTP, you go to 192.168.1.14 Username RT Password root And establish the connection You go to the Word folder that was shared And you have to be this It's FTP And this, this has a readme, you need to follow it. Um, you need to do this, but first you need to go here and tell net. So now we are going to do the instructions on the PC. To do on the, on the PC, we go another way, which is this one. We're going to here at up for com. We have the TCP RFC. 217 baht. We open the terminal. We put the batch file. Com is com. Uh, well, it's not com 19, I think. Or is it? Yes, it is com 19. And do it. It launches a bunch of logs. After that, we go here, we launch bash, we do python scripts.py, count20, and finally, we do the type of chip that we are interacting with, with which is the SCX. RF, which is from the deck. Well, it didn't work, why not? Maybe this one is 19 minutes. Looks like it's not working. Ah, okay, wait a minute. I know why. 
has to be on Windows. Okay, so we do it on Windows. Now we are in, we do off, authenticate, all successful, and now we're going to the, T, the T, TXT, and we have here the commands, first command we copy, here, complete, second command, we copy, we paste here, complete, ok, so it should be working, we can now test it, but first I'm going to launch the, the Elgato M Capture. I'm going to show you the XMP waves because this is really, really strange. Uh, maybe it will work, maybe it will not work. Well, I don't, I don't seem to have it connected here, but uh, I can assure you that it's running at 4.8 uh, GHz. Uh, turning on the console will make the XMB waves uh, disappear in just a matter of seconds. Some programs will uh, glitch, uh, the CPU might crash, uh, Multiman will act uh, very weird and uh, there, there will be a lot of uh, weird, weird stuff happening. So this is 4.8 GHz, you go back, you just type normal speed, uh, ok, yes, so this, you type this, Then you type this, and you should have a normal 3.2 gigahertz CPU speed. Uh, this, this is a, another uh, tutorial. I hope you like and enjoy it. I wish I could have shown you more, but, but I forgot about the. Um, uh, the, um, the the HDMI uh, setup for the Elgato, so I'm sorry about that. Um, but maybe in the next video I could show you a little bit about the um, the deck running on a, on a, a faster speed. I hope you guys like this video, enjoy, and I will see you on the next time.